In today's video, you will see how our blessings can be delayed if we don't pray. I must work hard than before to get this promotion. The exams are easy, why do I keep failing? <laughs> Janet passed it, her answers were same as mine. I have to talk with her about her promotion. Janet, you passed the promotional exam. Your name is on the list to be promoted. Oh thank you God, and thank you Lucy. If it wasn't for you, I won't have made the list. Congratulations. You deserve it. Congratulations to us. We did it. No more exams. Not for me. What do you mean? I didn't make it to the list. What? But. I don't know what is happening to me. This is the third exam. I know I wrote well. My friend, I think it's time to pray. Something is totally off. Robert, do you really think I should talk to the boss about this? Why not? You are one of the smartest employee in that organization. I don't bring as much money to the company than you do. This is my second year working with you guys and I got promoted. You have got four years with them and nothing? They have no excuse. I wonder why my wife hasn't called me today. This is unlike her. Let me call her right away. Hello, darling. Hello, love. How are you? I'm fine, driving home. But I'm worried. Why didn't you call me today? I'm so sorry, honey. I'm having a bad day. I totally forgot. Will you forgive me? Did you say a bad day? What happened today? I will tell you all about it when I come home. No way. I'm coming over to pick you up. We can go home together. I'll come right away. Okay, honey, I'll be waiting. I love you. Bye. Love you too. Bye. My wife, having a bad day? Not under my watch. Honey, over here. Darling, there you are. Hold on, let me get my bags. Tell me all about it. I will, let's get home first. We are home, tell me what happened? Let's go inside. It was a long emotional talk. So that's all that happened. I don't know why this is happening to me. You must have a sincere discussion with your boss. But first, we must pray. When two or three are gathered together, the Lord is in their midst. We are two in one flesh. So, the good Lord is with us. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for today. Thank you for your loving kindness and your tender mercies that is great towards us. Lord, thank you for being the pillar in this family. We say be thou exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we have come as one body and flesh and we make a decree. You said in your word that whatever we decree on earth is decreed in heaven. Father we make this decree that anyone who is fighting my wife spiritually and physically, must bow their head in shame. Let their shame be everlasting and unforgettable. Lord you said that you shall fight our battles and we shall hold our peace. Lord take over this battle. We leave it at your feet in Jesus mighty name Amen. Amen. Draw out the spear and stop them that persecute this family, let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after our soul. That they will be brought to confusion that seek after our soul. Let them be brought to confusion that seek our hurt. Let destruction come upon them at unawares and let the pit they have hidden catch themselves. Into the destruction, let them fall. Amen. Do it Lord and take all the glory and honor, we thank you Father for we know that you have heard us. Thank you Lord Jesus. In Jesus name we decree. Amen. Amen. Don't worry honey, it is settled. Amen. I feel like a weight has been lifted. Thank you honey, God bless you. God bless you too babe. Now let's take a shower and go to bed. The next day. Yes, come in. Good afternoon sir. Good afternoon Lucy, have a seat. Thank you sir. What can I do for you? Sir, you told us that if anything was bothering us, we should come to you and have it sorted out especially if they are work related. Yes, I said that. Sir, this is my fourth year in this company, I have done my work diligently, but I have never been promoted. 
all my colleagues move higher, while I remain on the same level every year. What do you mean? You have been promoted thrice and with good salary and allowance. Is this not enough for you? Sir, that is not true, you can ask the rest I have not received an increase or moved higher in rank. What? Go and call your supervisor, tell him to come here immediately. Yes, hello. Sir, the big boss wants you in his office. He said you should come right away. I hope there's no problem, because that is all you do. I don't know sir. Okay, I'll be there shortly. I wonder what this is. Mr. Wilson, are things in order in the company? Yes sir, everything and everyone is doing well. Are all the staff duly promoted? Yes sir. Are you sure? Yes sir. I just had a brief discussion with Miss Lucy, she said she has never been promoted. What do you have to say about that? Sir, I am sorry. Go on. Sir, she disobeyed me two years ago. I had told her to work three days on night shift but she refused. She made excuses about her children and I just couldn't take it. That is why I withheld her promotions and excluded her each time she passed the exam. I always gave her promotions to someone else. Did you say this happened two years ago? Yes sir. Hold on. When did we start working night shifts, Mr. Wilson? We don't, sir. I was only testing her. And you punished her over a mere test? In the records, it is stated that she has been receiving a higher salary. What do you have to say about this? You thief. You are shameless. Security. Take this man out of here. Get out! You are fired. Submit your resignation and all your documents to Miss Lucy. She will be taking over your job. Miss Lucy, we are very sorry for treating you this way. We had no idea that this has been going on. Please do not hold it out on the company. We hold you at high esteem. Also, I want to congratulate you on your new office. You are now the new supervisor of this branch. All increase in past allowances will be paid in full. In fact, they are being transferred as we speak. Your official car is parked next to mine. Congratulations. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you, sir. Oh, God, I can't believe this. This can only be your work. Thank you, Father. Hi friends, I hope you enjoyed watching this true life story. Always remember that the Lord said that he will restore the years that the locust and cankar worm have eaten. No matter what you are going through, always remember that God is working behind the scenes. Joy comes in the morning. In Deuteronomy 31 verse 8, it says that the Lord himself goes before you and will be with you till the very end. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, don't forget that you can achieve all things through Christ that strengthens you. Philippians 4 verse 13 Please like, subscribe and share this video with your friends so we can reach a larger audience. And leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. God bless you.